Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, I think some of you know me. I'm Hong Li from the International Water Association. And I'm now the director for the Asia Oceania region for IWA. Thank you for joining this member induction meeting. And uh, I hope through this meeting, you will know uh, uh, more about IWA, um, about membership, about how you engage. At the same time, you can also know some of my colleagues. And in the future, if you have specific questions, you can ask the right person and the, the right question. <laughs> so before we start, let's have some housekeeping rules. Uh, during the presentation, please keep your mic off and, uh, and you can use the chat box to ask questions and introduce yourself. And uh, as you know, that all the meetings we record. So uh, this is only for internal use. Um, the, after the presentation, we will have discussions and Q&A sessions. And uh, you can feel free to turn on your mic and video and to talk. Um, OK, without further ado, let's start. Uh, you can see now today there are several of my colleagues uh, presenting with the first one, um, Dr. Samuela Gita, as the strategic program and engagement manager to start the presentation. Thank you. Samuela, please. Yes, yes. Hi, hi, everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Hong. Uh, very nice to be here and to see you all. Um, uh, so as Hong was saying, we want to give you a little bit of an overview about uh, IWA and what are the opportunities uh, for you as uh, uh, members. So first things first, um, let's start from what is IWA, right? Um, so we are the uh, world largest membership organization focused on water. And um, our members really allow us to be a catalyst for um, innovation towards uh, um, achieving the SDGs and um, ensure a more sustainable world, as you all, um, I think, uh, as you all know. So um, our work is uh, inspired by our strategic goals. Um, we want to um, ensure um, our members engage and represent all uh, um, countries. Uh, we uh, position ourselves at the forefront of innovation in the, in the water. Uh, we provide a platform where all our members can exchange knowledge and bridge the gap between research and practice. And uh, by doing so, of course, we want to support the implementation of the SDGs. So our commitment for a more uh, balanced membership um, results in a series of action uh, to ensure uh, that low and middle income countries are represented in all our activities, in all our communication outputs, and of course, in our events. Uh, so this is something that we, um, as an as a organization, really believed in. Um, so let's look a little bit more about um, uh, on, on our work, at our work. So uh, what do we do? Uh, we uh, organize and support events with, of course, our uh, most famous one we, being the uh, World Water Congress and the World Development Congress. Um, we publish journals and the book in collaboration with our members. We have a magazine called The Source that our members received uh, receive uh, periodically. And uh, through webinars, courses, and uh, discussions, we provide professional development opportunities for all our members. So um, how are we organized? So uh, it really depends on the um, um, year in the sector and the, the uh, interest of our members. So, so based on the personal interest, our members can join, uh, um, can, can, can join specialist groups and the other communities like the um, utilities and the regulators community. Uh, based on their experience in the water sector, they can be part of different groups like the young water professionals uh, that you will hear more about later. And these are all our members that are below 35 years old 
or our fellows and distinguished fellows, for example. This includes uh, um, all the members who have been recognized for their um, incredible contribution to the water sector. Um, in addition, each uh, country uh, also has a uh, um, representative in our membership, and these are the governing members. And we also have partnership and collaboration with several organizations all across the world. Um, so as you can see from this map, again, our members are all around the world. Uh, we have uh, um, a headquarter in uh, London, where we are all based, and uh, an office in, uh, in Chennai in, uh, in India. Uh, now, I think uh, my part is, uh, is, is, is concluded, so I'll hand over to uh, Charles, who will tell you more about uh, our members. So, Charles, the, the floor is yours. Thank you, Samuela. Um, so, uh, it's very nice to be here. Can you move to the next slide, Samuela? Uh, so, as Samuela was mentioning, right, we are a membership organization and we have members uh, all over the world. And if you look at the membership, we have three different categories of membership, an individual member, a corporate member, and a university member. And our membership are for one and two years, which means you can either be a one-year member or a two-year member based on the date you join the organization. Now, uh, within these categories, individual, corporate, and university, you have further subcategories uh, uh, within the membership. So for individual, you can either be an individual member or a student member or a retired member based on your group that you belong to and you can also be a member by your institution which means your institution becomes part of the organization they will take either a corporate membership or a university membership and then you are nominated by your university or a corporate as a member uh, within my degree and these also have further sub classifications like uh, corporate has corporate small medium and large based on the size of the corporate and university also have further classification like small basic large medium sort of based on the size of the university. Um, so overall, if you look at this, is based on the statics in 2023. Um, we have almost 8,000 plus active members, which means they are active for one or two years. They, are, they, they, they pay a membership fee for one or two years. And there are a group of people who are associated with IWA now as active members who have also some sort of an opportunity within IWA, but not as active members. And we have a very large cohort of members, and they are called network members. And currently, we have around 30,000 plus network members within the organization. They associate with us in our events, webinars, and so on. But they're, they're, the opportunities are much less than uh, an active member. Um, so if you look at the statics, we have around 320 corporate, Madison University. And we also have a category called governing members who are not in the membership category. It's a different category. They are more onto the governance of the institution. Um, being a governing member, I mean, you are represented, I mean, each country is represented in IWA as a governing member. So we have one of 62 countries represented in IWA. They place a chasm between the country and, and IWA, and they have more right towards the governance in terms of uh, right to vote for the board of members, elect the president, vice president, and so on. They also represent the notion of the country uh, to the IWA level if there are things that has to be done our country level. And, and they also infuse both uh, the regional level developments to the global uh, uh, community, and also they try to abstract whatever is happening in the IWA to the regional level. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, if you look at the benefits of being a member, we have a lot of more benefits, but we just have to we have catalog uh, quite a number of them, which we think it's very tangible to the members. So most of the members join IWA because it's it's a huge network, and it would help them in the production development and leadership development uh, programs. For example, you are associated uh, to a lot of uh, peers or, 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 or so-called uh, um, uh, big professionals in, in, in the sector that you're working in, which would help them into our uh, interaction with them, uh, work along with them in different uh, IWA opportunities. You get special rates at IWA events, so you get a discounted rate for, in the IWA events. Um, you also have access to a platform called IWA Connect List, which I will be talking later, and thereby you can also participate in IWA Specialist Group, which our colleague would be also uh, letting you know what exactly is those are those. 
and you can also be part of the specialist group DA and again become the management committee of that specialist group. You also can engage in online dialogues. You are benefited to have a, a, a magazine, which is a portal of magazine um, called The Source, which you will be receiving. You also have access to IW Trusted which is part of a digital library where you we have abstract all the uh, resources that's been cataloged, that's been developed in the events, publications of IW, and that has been cataloged, which you also have access with. Uh, with respect to publishing, we got blog books and journals, which are open access, which you can avail with. And for the last five years, you are uh, able to access freely, and above five years, all the archived ones might have to pay a small fee for it. Um, and you would be having access to, uh, and the students have access to one of the digital journals in, in, in a discounted rate. There's a two percentage discount on the APC charges for publication and so on. Um, next slide, please. Uh, in terms of the regions, right, if you look at, you know, we are quite uh, good in terms of regional representation um, within, within the work sector or within the global community, and uh, which is led by Asia being the largest faction, followed by Europe, America, Africa, and Oceania. And if you look at the top countries, you know, we have China followed by India, US, UK, and Southeast Asia is also represented in Malaysia is having around 250 plus 250 members. And if you look at the regional level for South Asia, we have almost like Malaysia followed by Philippines and Cambodia um, in, in terms of membership numbers. And this is very crucial because you know, we all know that you know, Malaysia is going to post it only when you go over the Congress. And the representation and the engagement should be more in terms of having this, you know, uh, uh, Congress being a successful event. So we encourage people to become members and also engage and, and, and know more about IWD. I'll pass on to um, our uh, specialist group coordinator, Rachna, for taking it forward. Thank you. Thank you, Klaus. Hi, everyone. My name is Rachna Sakari. Uh, sorry, Vashna, we cannot hear you properly. Oh, sorry. Hi, thank you, Charles. And hi, everyone. My name is Rachna Sarkari, and I'm working as a membership engagement officer. My responsibility is to oversee all the specialist group's activities. And here I will uh, briefly describe about, uh, describe about all the specialist group. So what are these specialist group? And you can see here, uh, it's uh, the specialist group are the engine of IWA. Uh, I think it's all clear. Yeah, so uh, SG is a specialist groups are self-managed com uh, managed community. As you know, the IWA is a global network of water and sanitation professionals, but this uh, these specialist group, they are the main mechanism to bring all these, all the like-minded people under, uh, like-minded professionals under a specialized topic. So we have different uh, the specialist group and they have their specialized topic like water loss, anaerobic digestion, and many more. You can find them on IWA Connect Plus. And and they are very good. Uh, the the SG they connect people ac from uh, across discipline and national boundaries to accelerate the science, innovation, and practices that can make a difference in addressing water and pushes the sustainability agenda. They are spread. They have uh, our members are. Uh, they have spread more than one. 30 countries, and they are very effective means of international networking, sharing information and skills, and making professional and business contacts. Next slide, please. Yeah, so these are specialist group, you can see this, uh, the, they represent the whole water cycle. You can see this infographic and they are working almost everywhere. And as a member, uh, IWA member, you can join up to 51 specialist group. And as a member of these specialist group, you can, uh, uh, you can take up the responsibility of creating task group and working groups. You can also help in uh, publishing your uh, SG sub publications, like submitting content to newsletters, reviewing conference papers, co-authorizing book chapters. 
also proposing webinars. You have seen many, maybe if you go to our website, you will get all those IWA supported webinars video. You can also propose these webinars through your um, SGs, specialist groups. You can also participate in many trainings and other evaluated programs. You can also take up the leadership role from management, you, uh, the management committee members and the organization of group uh, activities and uh, specialized conferences. Next. So we, we have these management committee members. Uh, as you have already seen, Charles has presented the, over, uh, the overview of the, all those members. They are from the all uh, different parts of the world. But here, these, uh, I am showing you the management committee members number. We have uh, like uh, members and they are the members who, they oversee the day-to-day -day activities of specialist, uh, specialist groups. And they are the leaders and the total members we have from Asia is 20% 20, 20 and uh, they are very active members and they have been actively participating in all, all our SG's activities. Next. You can also meet all these um, members. They are um, from um, uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, we have members from everywhere, but we, uh, we have just uh, presented these members. So you can get in touch with them on IWA Connect Plus. You can uh, uh, see their profile there. Uh, you can get, uh, send them messages and learn more from these leaders. And they are from uh, Sunpa, from uh, like Malaysia, the other members, I am not going to take their names one by one, but you can find them on IWA Connect Plus and get in touch with them. Um, thank you from my side, and I will hand over this to Dr. Isabella. Thank you. Thank you, Rajanam. And nice to meet you all. Um, as uh, some other interests, I'm Dr. Isabella Spindola, and I am responsible for the Anguada professionals and the regulators within IWA. So now I'm going to go through some of the other communities that we have within IWA. Rashna mentioned about the specialist groups, but we also have our government members. We have more than 62 government members all over the world. And we have the distinguished fellows and uh, also the fellows. And then of course, the young water professionals that I am responsible for. Um, Samala, can you move to the next slide, please? Thank you. And what we want with all these communities is to engage our members. And our, our end with uh, this establishment of groups is to really have you guys leading IWA. So when we start uh, getting to know IWA, you get to know IWA via the publication, the partnerships, you join some of our online events or in-person events. And then you start this engagement with us. You become an IWA member, you decided to join one of our communities. And then... The next step would be like this contribution part. So you join the community, you get like really active on it. You can write the content that we have, like for, so for example, the book chapters, the blogs, and also the position papers. You can help us to organize events, proposing workshops, uh, webinars, as uh, Rashna mentioned, that is this um, possibility of proposing webinars and also some courses. And you are like really... Uh, coming up to the next step in terms of leading IWA, um, becoming, for example, um, um, part of the management committee from the specialist group, from the Young Water Professional Steering Committee, or you can also like, be part of uh, IWA country chapter and being part of this uh, management community that we have. And you're trying to represent IWA as much as possible within your country. And you can, for example, join the Congress Cong uh, program committees that we have, and uh, also the Strategic Council. Next. And now focusing on the young water professionals, we have a lot of chapters in Southeast Asia region, and I'm going to talk uh, a little bit about them later. But what is this community? Who can be part of this community? So for being like an IWA, YWP member, it's not a different membership. As long as you are age 35 years old or younger, you are automatically considering um, a YWP, a young water professional. And our uh, young water professionals, they are from this um, multidisciplinary backgrounds related to the water sector. 
And when we establish this community, our and um and our objective is really to empower YWPs to contribute to uh, sustainable uh, water management, and we want them to be engaged with YWA, connected with the other communities that we have, in a way they can they can reach this professional development that they uh, are eager and they want to achieve it. And of course, as they are getting more engaged with RWA, they reach out this recognition within the association, but also uh, with the broader uh, water sector. And here in the photo, you can see our con currently uh, steering committee. These are the group that help us to shape uh, the Anguara Professionals Community, and they are elected every two years. So as you can um, see, um, this group is uh, finishing their term uh, this year, so we will be hosting elections soon. Next. Um, this infographic is just for you to understand how the Anguera professionals, they fit within IWA structure. So when it comes to the national level, we have the country chapters. And in case you are interested in to create a chapter in a country that we don't have, just let us know and I can help you through this process. And in the international level, we have the steering committee and they're all connected with the secretariat. So they send me emails and we try to engage them as much as possible with all this structure that we have with the association. Next. So as I mentioned, we have a lot of chapters all over the world. Um, and you can see the ones that in, in dark blue are the new ones that we had created in 2023. And the others are the, the older Yanguara uh, chapters that we have. And specifically in the Southeastern regions, we have Australia, China, India, Japan, Malaysia, Nepal, Pakistan, Philippines, Singapore, South Korea, and Sri Lanka. So there are a lot of chapters, but in case you're from a country that we currently don't have, just reach out to me and we can start organizing and, and I can help you in this uh, process of creating chapters. Um, and if you are a Guadalupe professional and you're wondering how to get involved with IWA, so here <laughs> in this slide, I have all the answers. So you can join Connect Plus, our dedicated uh, group for young Guadalupe professional. We can check all the news and information and the discussion that we have there. And you can be part of the steering committee. So we're having elections. Why not apply to it? If you fulfill all the criteria that we have, you can join the chapter or you can create the chapter. That is a, there are opportunities for you to join specialist group management committee, being as a, a YWP representative. Um, you can join the Emerging Water Leaders Forum that we will be hosting, by the way, in Toronto. And soon we're going to be opening the call for volunteers to help us to organize. So you can also be a volunteer in the program committee and you can join events and other organizing committees from events from uh, YWP conference that we have. And you can apply for the exclusive opportunities that we create for young water professionals. So, yeah. So thank you, everyone. If you have any question, please um, just drop me a mail or type here in the chat. Adding. Thank you, Isabella. Hi, everyone. My name is Erin Jordan. I'm Strategic Programs Officer in IWA, coordinating specifically the Digital Water Program. Today, I'm going to tell you a bit about the IWA, IWA programs right now actively. And um, just to give you an idea about what we do, our programs are here to establish change agendas on key themes for a water-wise world that contribute to sustainable development. So I'll just give you a bit of information about each program. I'll start with the water and sanitation services. So with water utilities, national and international institutions, the IWA water and sanitation services program works to ensure the safe, reliable, equitable and efficient supply and service delivery of water and sanitation. And we do this through innovative pilot projects, international frameworks and advocacy to improve regulation and policy, including the implementation of water safety plans and sanitation safety plans. 
The Cities of the Future agenda harnesses the power of the IWN network to co-create solutions and join efforts to manage the city's many waters in a sustainable and resilient manner, an approach endorsed by the IWN principles for waterwise cities. Also, the Basins of the Future agenda promotes a connection between urban stakeholders and their basins. So building on the same IWA principles for waterway cities, as well as the IWA action agenda for basin connected cities, it aims to guide cities, industries, and their basins in the sustainable planning and management of water resources across scales. From catchment to consumer, meeting growing, de meeting growing demands, and uh, responding to the challenges of climate variability and change. Uh, next slide. So the Digital Water Program, um, it provides a platform for mainly water utilities uh, to explore and share their experiences on the on the digital on their digital water journey. Of course, this is open to other professionals as well who are interested in, in digital water. Um, the program provides roadmaps and guidance that will help water utilities in making the transition to the next generation of smart water systems and fulfill the need for improved resiliency to secure and sustainably manage water resources now and in the future. Uh, the Digital Water Program produces several outputs, and this includes white paper series, and you can see on the screen, uh, blogs, podcasts, and more. So here we have uh, the Earth Observation for Water Management subgroup. is a community of practice that focuses a lot on satellite, using satellite data for water management. We have the Digital Transformation Hub, which gives you... Um, real life case studies of digital solutions that have improved the water management for different cities. As mentioned, the white paper series where you can go and learn about different as the different aspects of digital water. Uh, we were also part of a European Horizon project. You can learn more about Prime Water there. Uh, you can read our digital water report, the, the first one, and then you can learn how to engage with us. Next slide. So the Inclusive Urban Sanitation Initiative. This was launched in Copenhagen at the 2022 IWA World Water Congress. Um, it gained uh, momentum through the sanitation campaign. And in 2023, last year, uh, the engagement efforts have seen uh, significant success. And this was notably through the election of a diverse adverse ad advisory board and task force with four strategic subgroups and um, to help guide the initiative's priorities. Also, as part of advancing diversity, equity and inclusion, the component of this in initiative, seven governing members were onboarded from the low and middle income countries in 2023. Uh, the initiative has also hosted at the recently concluded World Water and Development Congress in Kigali, a Sanitation Innovation Acceleration Forum, and the uh, IWA Sanitation Innovators Expo, which provided a platform for discussions on sanitation and technology offerings, particularly from Africa. Next slide. So uh, for the inclusive urban sanitation, these are the key actions and opportunities, publications, blogs, webinars, um, online courses, uh, biennial innovation conference, as well as the um, Citywide, Citywide Inclusive Sanitation Awards. For more information, you could always contact Florence and Patrick, and you can see their contacts uh, below. Flo and Patrick has just added some links in the chat as well. Next slide, Tamiola. So the Climate Smart Utilities Initiative, um, it was launched to support all utilities worldwide to act collectively and share knowledge. So the goal of the initiative is to assist water and wastewater, water, wastewater and urban drainage companies in improving their climate resilience uh, by adapting to a changing climate while contributing to significant and sustainable reduction of carbon emissions. The initiative aims to deliver value to utilities and inspire the wider water professional community. Next slide. Um, also underneath this initiative is the Climate Smart Utilities Recognition Program, which uh, offers utilities an opportunity to reflect on their Climate Smart journey and uh, 
presents actions to an international audience and shares aspirations to achieve a, a climate smart water sector. Uh, at the um, at the 2022 World Water Congress and at the 2023 Water and Development Congress, the utilities listed on the screen from Philip from the Philippines were recognized for their contributions to uh, for their uh, improvement and um, success on their climate smart journey. For more information about this, you can contact my colleague Charles, who spoke to you earlier and who will speak to you again, as well as Brenda, who is on screen. Uh, next slide. And um, so my colleague Rachna and my colleague Isabella, they told you about the different communities as well as the specialist groups. And um, what we try to do in IW is to connect all of our members to use everybody's knowledge to the benefit of the water sector. And so no matter which community you are a part of, we try to promote collaboration amongst these. Um, we And this can be through the publication, webinars and events. Uh, we can engage our members through the steering committees and the management committees of each community as well as the different um, advisory boards within the programs, initiatives, and communities of practice. And now I will hand over to Charles again. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Erin. Um, again, uh, so I, I want to talk about something more on IW Connect Plus, uh, which is a dynamic platform, which I would say you could compare it with um, a LinkedIn or Facebook of what you have been using, or you, you know about. Um, so we have transformed our old platform, which is called Connect, to a new platform, which is Connect Plus, on last January, or January 17, 2023, which is more of a dynamic platform where you can know more about the organization, know what's happening within the organization, um, know more about the latest news, the developments, the most read. Uh, so there are multiple components within that platform. Once you log in, you have to give, uh, because I suppose all of you are new members, once you log into the platform, you have to give your, uh, you have to complete your profile where you have to specify what specialist group that you would like to join, uh, which are the three or four specialist group that you wanted to know more about. Um, you can look at what are the people that you are that are working within your sector. You can search based on the keyword. You will find those members and so on. And once you are in the homepage, you could see what are the latest news, what are the latest announcements within the organization. Are there any new events coming up? Any new uh, webinars or seminars happening around? Um, are there any um, sort of you know what are the latest journals or articles that's being uh, populated more or most read articles or most read journals or books or publications that you could look at. Who are our featured members? Uh, which means what have they done differently? And you can look at what they have done to, differently and then kind of learn and then try to see what is benefit for your interest. Um, it also have a, a sort of a community page where you can look at all the specialist groups within the organization. Um, also look at what are the different programs in the organization, what are happening between, within these specialist groups or communities. Uh, if you're part of a GM or a governing member, you can look at the, your country, uh, web, country homepage and see what are the activities happening around. Um, so there are a lot of opportunities within the Connect Plus for you to network and connect with members and also know what are the latest contributions. You can also post, like any platform, you can post you were on blogs, you were on articles within the uh, within the platform as such, which would be widely read by the water community. Um, and we also have something called a trash chest, uh, which is the image that you see on the, on the right bottom, where it is a repository. It's, it's more of a digital library of all the content that has been developed within the IWA events, reports, publications, and so on. So if you search uh, for any keyword, you will find a lot of articles related to that topic. Um, it could be a, a, a presentation, it could be a video recording, it could be a podcast. So it, it would be a one-stop solution where one stop place where you can actually look at all the contents that's been developed within the IWA on that uh, on that particular topic. And I think it should be a huge interest for you, especially if you're coming from academia or, or, or the practitioner community. 
because you also have a lot of case studies that's been shared. Um, can we move to the next slide, please? So uh, this is what I was telling you. Know, once you complete your um, you know, profile, you can select the different specialist group within the organization. Um, um, and, and, and based on your interest, you know, which Rajana was telling you, know, the, the, the 51 specialist groups, you can select based on your interest, based on your domain in which you work on, you can select those specialist groups that are very relevant to you and get updates from those specialist, specialist groups. So you will get updates with respect to the upcoming events, newsletters, uh, recent developments and innovations within that specialist group. So you can so you know more what's happening within that particular specialist group as such. Um, can you move to the next slide, please? Um, and once you are in that specialist group and once you are in the management committee, you also have you also would be able to know the characteristics of the people within the uh, within that specialist group. You know, you would know them members, where they come from, what sector they do, how much they have participated within the within that specialist group, you know, what are their contributions in terms of clothes, newsletters, you know, events and so on and so forth. So we also get an overview about the characteristics and interaction uh, within the specialist group. And so you can also look at who is contributing more and then also you know, try to collaborate, try to learn from them and so on. Um, can we go to the next slide, please? Uh, we have a quarterly magazine, which I told before, um, which is called The Source. Um, and so it is more of a magazine where uh, most of our members write about their opinions, you know, there are featured articles, case studies. Uh, there is a, a featured article from our executive director in terms of the the vision or, or the status quo of the organization that in that in that you know um, on that timeline and then we also have some of the news articles and uh, that would be also published which, which in terms of the latest news that's happened over that time period um, if you want to if I'm, and we would encourage people to also uh, participate in it so if you want to participate if you want to contribute to such articles you can write to us you can contact uh, the editor uh, key keyword um, in the in the email it was given the bottom, so you can actually uh, participate in, in submitting an article to the source. Next slide, please. Um, we do have events. I, I hope you would be all knowing this, right? Um, so we say that every week of a year we have an event across the world. Uh, so if you look at, we have almost fifty special students. They do uh, at least uh, an event in every two years. So we have almost 25 special group events. So for me to 25 special group events. Apart from that, IW has its own flagship events, which is uh, a biannual World Water Congress, which happens in develop, developed countries in every two years or every even years. And then we also have a Water and Development Congress, which happens in developing countries in every old years. Uh, we also have a biannual uh, Young Water Professional Conference. We also have a Leading Edge Technology Conference. And, and like I said, we have one of the very special group events happening every year. We will be having a region level vulnerability conference, and there are also IWA supported events. So, if, if you or your institution would like to also host an event, you can apply uh, for an IWA support event, uh, which also gives you an opportunity to host uh, an IWA and even with IWA. We also have a digital water conference, which is also uh, uh, one of the flagship events of IWA. Which happens in every every year. Um, the last edition was in um, in in, in um, well, please correct me if I'm wrong. I, I forgot the name. Um, the last edition was in in, in last November, right? Um, it was in Yeah. Um, so what I meant to say is right now we have a lot of events and it also has opportunities for you to participate in these events. Meaning you can participate uh, in terms of you know, submitting a paper or uh, uh, you know, submitting an article, which either would be a paper or a poster presentation. You can participate, you can submit for a workshop proposal, and then if you get uh, accepted by the program, you can have your workshop being presented there. Or you can participate as a delegate in those uh, in the conference and then attend the paper presentations, poster presentations, workshop presentations, other programs and initiatives that IWA would be. Uh, convening at the conference. You also have the access opportunity to be a chair or a chair or co-chair within those uh, uh, within those events itself. So we have different technical sessions where you can be part of chair or, or co-chair or chair of the sessions. You can also be a part of the organizing committee and programmity 
which has also a lot of visibility in, in terms of um, your profile. You know, this, these are things that would help in, in, in functional and leadership development within the organization. And obviously, if you are a part of identity, you also have a special added advantage in terms of you know, being volunteering in some of these events. You might have, sometimes you might have a, a financial support for you to participate in these events. Um, you have another, another part of thing which I would also let you know is we also have a, a big exhibition associated to our uh, biannual event, the World Water Congress and the uh, Water and Development Congress, where you can exhibit, uh, you can participate as a sponsor or an exhibitor um, from your institution. And from this, you can contact Kisito uh, for his own event staff. Next slide, please. Uh, this is more of a representation of the uh, uh, Congresses from the very beginning. You will have both World Water Congress and Water and Development Congress uh, representation. The last World Water Congress was in Copenhagen in 2022, and 2024, it is going to be in Toronto, Canada. And 2026, it is going to be in Glasgow. And 2028, it is going to be in Malaysia, which, which we had uh, recently, you know, uh, being celebrated and accepted uh, by the board in last September. Um, thanks to uh, Malaysian committee uh, for putting up such a good application. It was a strong competition between Malaysia, Brazil, and a few other countries, and, and Malaysia backed uh, the conference. So all the best and best wishes uh, to the committee for the 2028 conference. Next slide, please. Um, so this is what I was telling the next or uh, this edition of the World Water Congress, which is going to be in Toronto, Canada, is from 11 to 15th of uh, August. Uh, we have closed all those submissions, and I think the evaluation is happening now, and probably the program would be out very soon. Uh, but you can participate in uh, in the different opportunities. You, know, you can be a delegate. You can be, like I said, you can be a chair or co-chair, or you can be participating in some other workshops. Um, that will be uh, that will be hosted within the conference. Um, I would say, like you know, we would like to have most of you being there because you could also learn and you know collaborate with the you know to know more about how this conference are organized. You can have sort of a visibility in the way when you plan for the twenty twenty eight conference. Um, so this would be another advantage for you to actually participate because it takes a long term. You now we, we we anticipate almost. Um, of three to four years for actually the plan for the planning of this event. So it's the right time. And we encourage people to actually um, attend the Toronto conference. Next slide, please. Um, apart from the you know, sort of regular activities, we are very proud in terms of you know, celebrating and we're very much committed in 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 in, in, in promoting or in, in sort of recognizing the wider water sector. These are awards where in which we celebrate the best practices, the innovations, the technology within the water sector. So it's beyond the membership. Anyone who is uh, who within the water sector has done a lot of contribution to the sector. Uh, we have different awards associated to it. Um, so we have a global global water award, which is uh, uh, which is the most prestigious award, which we say about another contribution in the water sector. We have a Women in Water Award. We have a Young Leadership Award. If you are in the age person right, if I contribute to a lot, you, you would be part of, you could apply for it. You have a, a, a sort of a professional development award. You also have a membership, but this is particularly for the members of IWA in terms of how they have been contributing within IWA. We award them um, in terms of honorary uh, outstanding member award and so on. We also have a category called Project Innovation Awards, which is uh, if you are an institution who has done a, a significant uh, project in terms of, uh, uh, you know, which had a lot of innovation, which had a lot of uh, best practice or technology that has been adopted, you can apply for this award, uh, which has been for the six subcategories. And then um, if and this, this all awards have been evaluated by a, a, a jury, which would then you know, uh, the, you know, the results will be announced during the conference and then you will be here. So, like I said, we are very much com committed to the water sector and we recognize the con we wanted to recognize and recognize all the contribution within the water sector. Such the, uh, the applications for the awards are open, I believe. So, 
you could uh, start applying for the awards, which would be all these awards would be celebrated in the in the World Water Congress in Toronto. Okay. Next slide, please. So that's it from all of, all from our side. I mean, um, I would encourage, still encourage people to go to our website and the links that has been shared from uh, our colleagues in the chat box. There might be much more things that you would like to know about, more, uh, know more about AWA. If you have any further questions, you can reach out to any one of us where you can even nice with uh, Dr. Hongli, who is the region coordinator in that region. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you all for the presentation. And I can see that we have already more than 100 attendees. And uh, one of the largest uh, portion of attendees actually is from uh, Nampen Water Authority, uh, Water Supply Authority, PPWSA in Cambodia. I'm just wondering if anyone from PPWSA, for example, Mr. Lang Naro, if you want to say a few words. Yes, uh, good afternoon from Cambodian, uh, from Phnom Penh Water Supply. Uh, thank you so much for your briefing for all the activity of IVA. And now I think that we start to get more information in order how to participate into the IVA, uh, you know, work. So see how we can do, how we can share our experience to uh, IVA in order to, how to make operate between Phnom Penh water supply to IVA. It's a very interesting presentation that when I see the presentation. And uh, based on our activity, what we have here now, uh, we try to push as much as possible in order to to meet the SDG of 2030 with a coverage of 100%. So day by day, we are very busy to our project uh, because we are now uh, already nearly 100%. So we another two years we reach to 100% based on our project. So therefore, uh, to work with IVA, we are still not yet connected very well because we are busy on our project. But uh, very interesting, uh, a lot of things there that uh, I will uh, push my team, especially the young generation, to see how we can uh, uh, work together, how to share our idea. Uh, based on activity, progress of our work, what we have here, and push them to go more detail inside the IVA uh, in order to get more idea, experience, lesson learned from IVA. So that is our, our plan to see, because I think we already signed a contract last year, but we did not have uh, any uh, progress of uh, presentation like this. I think today we we have we see the presentation, and I think uh, most of my team is inside the screen. I think today they follow up, and uh, from now on I will uh, uh, try to push my team in the in order to participate to the IVA uh, team work. You know, so that is that I can say today, and uh, we see how we can uh, look into more close cooperation with IVA. Uh, to the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will follow up with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, we mentioned already that one of the most exciting IWA activities uh, is actually the World Water Congress and ex Exhibition. And uh, in four years, it's going to be in uh, Kuchin, Sarawak. And it's really a, a lot of support from uh, Malaysian Water Association. It's, it's huge support from them. So I want to invite Kelvin Kuk Han Yi to, to say a few words about this Congress preparation. Hi, Kelvin. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, uh, some of you. Uh, good morning, maybe. Thank you very much uh, for organizing uh, this uh, induction seminar, Dr. Hong Lee. 
And uh, we are very pleased to meet uh, the family of uh, International Water Association. Also, our friends from uh, Phnom Penh Water, uh, good to see you. I think, uh, were you here in uh, Kuching in uh, 2022? In the Borneo International Water and Wastewater Exhibition Conference, I think. So uh, uh, we are very happy, as uh, Dr. Hong Li has mentioned, that uh, we have been selected as a host uh, for the World Water uh, Congress and Exhibition for the year 2028. Uh, we are very excited. We have uh, quite a few programs uh, to, to uh, run up to the 2028. I think the first of which is that uh, we will join the uh, Toronto uh, this year in August. Uh, uh, we have been contacted by uh, Mr. Kizito and, uh, and Roy. So we are planning uh, to have a presence at the Toronto and uh, maybe to bring uh, some of our friends uh, from, from, from the region. Uh, uh, and then uh, we have our own, uh, uh, as you know, uh, Sarawak is uh, one of the largest states in Malaysia. We are on the island of uh, Borneo. And uh, in uh, October this year, uh, we have actually an event called the uh, Borneo uh, International Water and Wastewater Conference and Exhibition. So that is taking place on the uh, uh, 23rd to the 25th of October right now. So we hope that uh, we will be able to uh, 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 get uh, involvement uh, from the International Water Association I think this is something that uh, is an ongoing discussion. So uh, once the program has been uh, uh, fixed and uh, more established, uh, we, will, we will send the information to everybody here. So we would like to invite as many as, you, as, as, as we can to come and join us. So uh, that's, that's uh, all for us from now. Thank you, Dr. Ondi. Thank you, Kelvin. So I hope we can have a, a set of activities going towards World Water Congress and exhibition in 2028 in the region. And now I open the floor to everyone who wants to ask questions. You can turn on your uh, video and uh, unmute yourself when you speak. I think we may, may have given too much information. <laughs> too many <laughs> things to ask that they don't know how to start. But uh, I just wanted to say that uh, um, in our website, there is uh, um, the list of IWA staff and all our activities that we have um, introduced to you today. So don't be um, afraid to just reach out uh, at any point. Um, Isabella was mentioning about a, a chapter, a YWP chapter in Cambodia. I think that would be uh, great to start. So if any of you wants to take a lead on that, please feel free to reach out to her. And um, um, so, yeah, I think that this is where we can go uh, from, from, from here. But if any of you has a question now, please feel free to ask now. Uh, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, related to the young leadership, right? Yeah. This is a one uh, such such the section that we need to make to need to have more uh, detail uh, on this this on this type of uh, what they call uh, participation uh, because for me uh, in the future. Uh, we like to bring our young generation uh, to have more uh, connection among each other in the water sector. So, therefore, for me, uh, how that PSA can uh, connect more detail uh, inside of this group? Um, if I may <laughs> jump on this. So, thank you for your question. Um... I agree with you that it's really important to get this connection, establish this connection with young professionals. And when we form a chapter, we try to understand as much as possible the challenges that the country is facing, specifically in the water sector, and how this young generation, these young professionals, they can play a role into solving the chapters and to help uh, in solving the challenges and helping 
the, this broad water sector with all the ind industries and the stakeholders that you have in, in the country to, to connect themselves and to find the solutions. And when I um, I'm talk about challenges, it, it's not about specifically like to, to, to water quality or water quantity, but it's also with this generation gap that we have with the senior levels that they are retiring and we need a, a new workforce that they need to have the specific skills to, to be ready to step up and to lead um, the decisions and all the governance and management procedures that we have when it comes to water resources. Okay, all right. Okay, I understand. So let's see how we can connect together. So I will uh, push my team to uh, research more on that, on this. Right. I put my, I added my, my email in the chat. So if they can reach out to me and then we can uh, start this conversation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. For another question, uh, you see, uh, you have also a specialist, uh, how we connect to the specialist? Uh, in the uh, IVA team, how can we connect? Because sometimes if you have a problem in terms of what quality, uh, sometimes we do every day on our, our implementation in terms of control water quality, but some area that may uh, not, you know, well from our size. So how can we, uh, for example, put all of this information to IVA in order to uh, to know by IVA and get some uh, idea in time, not only, uh, you know, uh, put some uh, big effort, but at least sometime, for example, if you have the sometime so much manganate inside the water, so what IVA can give, uh, what the specialist of IVA can help us, you know, all of this. So it looks like a online talking in order to, to solve the problem or daily activity uh, to solve the problem among each other. So how how also uh, the channel for that? Uh, hi, uh, so as you have seen, we have uh, 51 specialist group. So as per your this uh, issue you are raising here or you're, you're interested in this subject, you can first, you can um, check all these specialist group if you find anything very relevant and uh, they are very, um, you feel like they can help you in this matter. You can approach that specialist group through IW Connect or you can write an email to me and I will connect you to that specialist group. And then you can start your discussions with all their SG leaders and the leaders first they will uh, discuss this issue with uh, you, they will have a meeting, they will try and understand your problem and then they will make a plan how to solve this issue or what to do uh, in collaboration with you. So there are different ways and they're very self-managed. They have their own plans and different members they, and from different countries, they work together. So the best way to first find a relevant uh, specialist group, uh, then approach these SG leaders and start uh, having a discussion or uh, raising this problem and making a plan how to solve this issue. And uh, as per my understanding, and I would also like Dr. Hong, if she wants to add something in this. Yeah, um, in addition, I think you could also pay attention on the specialized events happening somewhere in the world and to see if there are like up-to-date knowledge and technologies sharing that you can learn from them. And uh, at the same time, if you want to bring some of the international experts to the region or to Cambodia to have a seminar or organize something, particularly for the topics and the challenges you are facing. So that would be something we can work together, I think. Very good, very good, understand. Thank you so much. So I think now start to learn uh, step by step. Yes, <laughs> we work together, we, we, right. we collaborate. <laughs> Thank you. And may I ask all the participants, if possible, you switch on your video so that we can take a snapshot, something like that. 
Thank you. If anyone uh, would like to ask any questions after this meeting, you are more than welcome to send emails to uh, members at iwahq.org. I can put this email address in the chat as well. Uh, thanks, uh, Hong. Yeah, so uh, maybe yes, uh, brief introduction. My name is uh, Patty Krono. I work with the IWA on the Inclusive uh, Urban Sanction Initiative. So uh, I did share a link of the uh, initiative page. I'll also share my uh, email address in case you have any particular question. Uh, please uh, feel free to reach, us to, to reach out to me. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Patrick. I hope everyone can join Toronto. It's an amazing opportunity for you to, to be aware of the community and to be up to date with the knowledge and the leading edge technologies. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Bye.